It was just strutting through the crowd Mar yesterday. Was Marshall Fogg is here. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, <laughs> boy, you've decided <laughs> to give up on the shaving. You're done with all that. The clean cut Marshall Fogg. Do we see that again? Or have you had a stage in your life where it just don't matter anymore? No, I, um, I just made a change. You know, I just... Uh, I just you, made I just made a change. You like it? I, I, you Seems know, like yeah. Be itchy. Yeah, you know, it's you know when you when you're clean cut, people expect certain things from you. When you have a beer, you can get away with you stuff. Got dirty. I like it. Now you who it's knows a little, little what Marshall Falk's going to give edge. you? Right. 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 All of a sudden, Marshall Falk's no longer old Marshall Falk. Marshall, let me ask you this question: Kurt Warner get in this weekend? I hope so. I I, I know, know you've been a huge I, advocate for him. I hear you on the NFL Network all the time. I know you work with him and everything else, but. He's got. He's got to get in. It's, Why wouldn't he get in? I, I just. Uh, I, the question is because at this at this point, all the guys deserve to be in. Sure. I mean, every last one. Um, his story and and just to even be where he is, starting bagging groceries yeah. <laughs> at a high V, and 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 to be at this point, um, to do the things that he did uh, in the league and to have the opportunities. And I think I think you got you got to put the hardship. You know, you, the guy starts in Green Bay, he's behind Favre with some other guys. They just cut him. You know, he, so he, just he, goes, he goes to Amsterdam Admirals. You know, wins 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 on that level. Yep. Uh, wins wins. I think I thought I think he won the World League once or twice. Comes to the Rams, goes to Arena Ball, and it's just. It, it, it's it's amazing. And, and Trent Green gets hurt and he yeah, takes the job. Right. I now think, listen, that was an unbelievable team. Yeah. You guys and Mike Mart had that crazy offense and everything else. Well, and speed and at the at the bef before we started playing, we were we were just unbelievably bad. Right. right? <laughs> and as we started playing, it was like these guys are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Kurt had something to do with that. The weapons around him helped, but he had something to do with that. But okay, that was a bad franchise that he like took to the Super Bowl. Let's go to Arizona and play for the Cardinals. Another bad organization yes. that he took to the Super Bowl. It, it's just like you, you have to look at the what totality he's done. of everything. Yes. Yes, I, sure. I think even if you took out the story and you look at a finite period of time when he was the starting quarterback for not one but two franchises, and you look at the numbers in that period of time and the success, I believe, and I don't have a vote, but just as a fan, it's very simple to me. When you give me a guy's name, I think it should be immediate. If I say Terrell Owens, to me, it's Hall of Famer. Yep. When, I, when someone says Kurt Warner, to me, as a fan, that guy was a Hall of Famer. You know what I think? When I think of Kurt Warner, I think of Dan Fouts. That's what I think, even though he won the Super Bowl and Dan didn't. I, I actually, I, and, and this is what I always ask people, and I hate to, like, say these two guys are the same, but explain to me Steve Young and Kurt Warner. I was going to say the like, same thing. Explain sure. to me. I, I yeah, you, really, never, you never want to discredit somebody I know, else's I'm credentials. Not, yeah, you never no, want to do that. Steve Young should have Warner get in. I'm, I'm using Steve to help Kurt I bring agree. Kurt sure, up, sure. to elevate him because Steve is in. That's why I'm saying I'm not I'm not trying to bring anyone down. I agree. So. I think he gets in. I don't know if we get in this year, but I think he gets in. And, hell, Owens if San, in, right? you know, San Antonio Holmes, that other toe never touched the ground in the end zone anyway. Uh, they win that <laughs> Super Bowl, and that's not even a question because we look at it based on – you know, right or wrong, or, hey, did he win the Super Bowl? Or if the ref do his job and call a 15-yard penalty on using the football as a prop when he... Yes, exactly. Also true. But we don't want to do that in the Super Bowl. I wonder, you know, I ask Boomer <laughs> this all the time, and he gives me the same answer for 10 years now, so it's good to have fresh meat here. <laughs> what Boomer says the thing he misses the most, twofold, competition, you know, that level of competition drives you guys, and then B the camaraderie of being with the guys you know, that fraternity of in the locker room or you know, going out as a group with wives and girlfriends and having that you can't ever replace that how much do you miss those two very specific things and 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 the competition for me is practicing um you know like going out in the game you could you could do some things and fool people but when you're practicing against your guys and you know them and they know you it's so much fun it's so much fun you miss it there's nothing like it and then the locker room um when you retire you can you can like like i took up golf it, it, it gives me a little challenge um i play tennis it, you know i can go out and, and and challenge myself and and get somewhat of of what what i got in competition not all of it but somewhat but you just can't go get another locker room it's just there's just there's there's nothing like it.
What are you doing with Pepsi uh, this week? Uh, Pepsi, uh, Rookie of the Year. Um, Pepsi's done a great job at elevating the award, uh, making it something that, you know, the, the fans, they give the fans the opportunity. This, this is not no AP. We're, we're not wondering who got the votes. The fans get to decide wow. who wins so the Rookie it's, it's of the Year. It's either Elliott or Prescott. Well, I wonder how. I mean, or, or maybe no, co no, wait. I mean, right. You got right. Carson Wentz, Deion Jones, yeah, Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta, yeah, yeah and, then, and then Joey Bosa. You know, it's going to uh, be one of the two Cowboys or both. You could have co-MVPs uh, as you, well. You, you never know, but they could end up canceling each other out. Also very true. And, and then someone else can get elevated. And, you know, Pepsi uh, w- with that and the halftime show, I mean, they've done a great job at being a part of this whole process around I heard Super a rumor. Bowl. I know we got to let them go because yeah. we got to take care of business. There's a rumor out there that you have been sneaking into Lady Gaga's practices and have offered to be a backup singer. And I said there's no way because Marshall can't sing it. True or false? I will not lie to you. I'm an awful singer, but I might be one of the backup dancers. <laughs> That's exactly. Good seeing you, pal. Marshall Falk, we got to get going. Uh, last break of the day.